تاسو ایکسپیرینس لوبغاړي را سره و مونږ ټیم ورک نو دې له وجه نه لا په کامیابي مونږ ته راکړه لا ډیر واقعاً واقعاً ټیم ورک دې کې هیڅ شک نشته هغه خو د مخ نه ماشاءالله معلومېږي چې څونه خوشاله سې د لا کامیابي په هیله دی خوشاله اوسېږ او ډېر مننه له کومه ټول بلخ مینه والو ته مبارکي او الله دې افغانستان کې تلپاتې سوله ومن راولي امین ان شاء الله ډېره زیاته مننه افتاب عالم I'm happy moment for him and excited and I ask him why you are wearing the headband because it's remind me you were when you was bowling it's so nice of him so back to commentary box thanks a lot hamid celebrations there we saw the champion dance as well from chris gale and his uh, teammates really a great moment for them they're really happy chris gale coming back into form in a big way another very good half century from him and really great uh, scenes out here in sharja he's just going all over just have uh, appreciating the crowd as well uh, thanking the crowd and just see that chris gale dug he always uh, a great scenes out here just watching chris gale yeah he enjoys his wins doesn't he he certainly celebrates them to the fullest uh, he thoroughly deserves this victory today he batted really well got given a couple of lives but then you have to be good enough to take them again uh, he'll enjoy his, his night this evening so back down to the field with brian I'm delighted to say that we've been joined by the owner of the Bulk Legends, uh, Pyle Jani. Pyle, congratulations. It, this must feel incredible. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, it definitely feels incredible, although we were very confident throughout the league. But towards the end, somewhere we thought maybe or maybe not. But yes, we are thrilled and very excited. Did it take much convincing to get involved with the inaugural edition of the Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League? Yes, initially yes, but later on, as we got the hang of things, it was all in place. Yes. In terms of the tournament, has it could it have gone any better for you? I don't think so. Finally, we are taking the trophy home, so no, it couldn't have been better than this. And how long? How long has the the sort of gestation period been for you in terms of buying the team and, and actually getting everything together? Because it's been an enormous logistical operation, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. I think close to one and a half, two months, not more than that. Yeah. So the conversations began in uh, mid uh, August or something, and by the uh, September, mid September, we were sure of things. And a word for the players and the support staff who've made it all happen for you. Yeah, there was there was there was a big team involved. There were many people involved in this, but yeah, it all made it happen. Yes. Bile, congratulations! You and your team are winners of the inaugural. Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Back to commentary. Thanks a lot, Brian. But really, uh, absolutely brilliant scenes. Uh, Chris Gill there walking. Uh, Mohammad Nabi. Everybody would be very happy. The owners uh, of the Bulk Legends. They have really performed well. They have really peaked at the right time. They have started off uh, in great fashion as well. And uh, thanking uh, everybody here. People have come in large numbers. Walk, watching back home as well in Afghanistan. An absolutely brilliant scenes, uh, Dougie. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a tough three weeks for the for the winners, for all teams, in fact. But it's nice to see them doing a lap of honour as well and acknowledging the the brilliant support that they've been given this evening. So, Brian, who do you have with you? Heath Streak, the coach of the losing finalists, uh, Kabul Zwanan. Commiserations, Heath, but I guess at the end of the day it was just a case of not quite having enough runs on the board. Yeah, we were probably about 20 runs shy. It, it turned out not to be an easy wicket to bat on. Um, I thought uh, the opposition bowled superbly uh, this evening. Uh, it started off with Nabi. Um, you know, they've bowled, I think, throughout the tournament. They've been the most consistent uh, with the ball. Um, and uh, really put us under pressure. So yeah, I was a little disappointed. I still felt that we could have we could have got to the 150 mark, and then you know we could have put them under a little bit of pressure. In terms of that top order usage, you had a lot of left-handers in the top order. What was the thinking there? Look, we've got a lot of left-handers, and they got a bat somewhere, you know. And we knew whether you batter them up front or in the middle, Nabi's still going to come on and bowl. You know, we just had to play uh, really well. I thought we probably. Uh, gave Kais a, a few easy wickets when we could have maybe managed that a little bit better. But no, that's cricket. Um, when you're under pressure and you know, you know, you're looking for a, a total that you think is defendable. Sometimes you maybe go a little bit harder than you should. When you had them six for two, did you believe then? In fact, did you believe at the halfway stage? Uh, when Chris is there, you always uh, sort of, you know, when he when he walks away, then you always think you got a chance. And you look, we we did create those chances. Um, you know, we had a drop catch um, at long on there. The skipper, fine effort, but 
you know, if that had stuck, maybe we would have been able to, to really put them under uh, real pressure early on, especially defending a small total. So, yeah, look, we, we, we stayed in the hunt, but, you know, things have to go perfectly when you're defending a small total like that. And just finally, reflections on the inaugural edition of the Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League, both in a, in a sort of macro sense and also from a Kabul's Wanan point of view? Yeah, I think it's improved as, as we've gone along. I think people have settled in and, and uh, the roles, certainly within our team, um, I've, I've seen a, a massive improvement. Just the cricket awareness of some of our boys has been, uh, you know, playing alongside some of the internationals has been really good and, and they've really stepped up. So hopefully that'll help Afghan cricket going forward in the future. And hopefully there's a, a few young guys who've been unearthed who can start pushing uh, for the national team. Heath, thanks very much for joining us. And even though you're not a winner here, congratulations on an excellent tournament. It's really appreciated that you've taken the time to speak to us off the back of uh, being losing finalists. Thanks very much, Heath, and thanks for all your cooperation during the tournament too. Thank you, Thank you very much. That's Heath Streak, the uh, coach of the, uh, the losing uh, finalist, Kabul Zwanan, back upstairs to the commentary box. Yeah, a very honest assessment there of his team's performance in this final from Heath Streak. He'll be bitter disappointed but he was still very honest. And batsman probably given one or two too many cheap dismissals. And you can see there that in the reply from the bulk legends, on well, the majority of the runs scored by Chris Gale, who was given a couple of lives. Uh, Rabi Bopara absolutely calm as a cucumber, cool as anything, and actually making a fairly easy bulk legends run chase to 138 for six. Yeah, they required uh, early wickets. Uh, Parnell uh, picked up a few, three wickets for him, uh, considering 35 runs in his four overs. Uh, Malik as well was outstanding. Rashid Khan, his four overs were very valuable, picking up one wicket for 21. Of course, the semi finals did a terrific job. And uh, Muslim Musa as well, picking up one wicket in his two overs. But a few bowlers uh, are touch expensive. Shahidullah, 9.5 is economy. Musa as well is economy, 9.5. So th they need to pick up regular wickets. And that wasn't the case for the Kabul Zwaran. So this was the story of the final. Kabul, of course, uh, win the toss and batting first. Uh, if uh, this just posted 132 for the loss of nine wickets. Probably, as Heath mentioned, his streak, the coach, that they were 20, 25 runs short. Ahmed, the uh, 32. Uh, Kaya Ahmed, the leg spinner, did a terrific job. 5 for 18 for the young leg spinner. Absolutely outstanding. And bulk ledges 138 for six. Thanks to the brilliant half century from Chris Gale. 56 of 34 for him. Bopara, once again, a very good innings under pressure. 32 and beat no 29. Panel, of course, picking up three wickets. But in the end, bulk are the champions and they won by four wickets. We'll take a short break and come back for the post-match presentation. So Luke Ronke got the game off to a blistering start. Easing Navi for a six in the first over. Again, as soon as his wicket fell and he perished, it was a bit of a procession starts from all these batsmen. And a little bit of spin there from Nabi as well, making it difficult for the left-handers. And Hajratula going across the line of one. And a very good cotton board by Mohamed Nabi. A good improvisation from Ingram, but again, it was too little. And although the boundaries came and went, so did the batsman. A very good catch, tumbling catch there out of the night sky. And one or two reckless dismissals as well. Some lovely 2020 improvisation as well. But unfortunately, 132 was never really going to be a substantial enough total to make the game competitive without early wickets. And Case Ahmed having an absolutely blistering final. The youngster, the leg spinner bowling beautifully and recording the best figures of the tournament. Four overs, five for 18. And quite rightly celebrates in style. So 133 was a chase. It was a very good start there from Kabul, getting a wicket straight away and following up with a second wicket. Wayne Parnell on fire. And back brilliant from Tenniscata. And Chris Gale, he rode his luck. Uh, one or two drop catches from Kabul in the field. 
But then as soon as Tender Scatter went, well, so did Chris Gale. He went ballistic. And boundary after boundary. And that was a difficult chance. There was no chance there, unless you're in row Z of the stand. And although eventually succumbed to Rashid Khan, a good catch out in the boundary. He had scored too many boundaries at that stage and put the bulk legends way ahead of the game. And it was going to take something unbelievable for them to get back into the game. It wasn't to be, unfortunately. And Gilberding now finishing the game in perfect style, lofting the ball high into the stand for six fantastic runs to take the Bolt Legends to the inaugural title of this you. Afghanistan yeah, Premier there League. Was, there was a big and quite rightly, they danced the champions dance. Yeah, this was uh, really uh, not enough as far as uh, the Kabul were concerned. 132 for nine, what they got, uh, Chris Gale, that 56 was almost uh, taking the game away from them. Bopara, very uh, good knock from him, 32 one beaten in the air and steadying the ship for the bulk legends. Uh, they lost a few wickets. Monro Rasuli couldn't get going. Uh, and Descarti as well, 12 of 20. But in the end, uh, Gulbadin uh, playing that winning shot and that was uh, enough for the bulk legends. Uh, 150, 155 would have been another story. Didn't uh, get a good start. They were six for two at one stage, but then 31 run partnership. Just stayed the ship. 50 was very important, that partnership. 50 or 27 between uh, Gale and Bopara. And then 34 of 31 between uh, Ali Kale, the wicket keeper and Bopara. So really some useful partnerships in the middle for the bulk legends. Yeah, Kabul's one and bowlers and Parnell picking up these two wickets early in the piece. But again, he proved quite expensive in a low run chase. Uh, Rashid Khan again, a very good economy rate, 5.25 per over. But really, the total was too small and it was ask, uh, too much of an ask for these Kabul Swaman bowlers. And he couldn't quite manage it. 138 for six. Taking bulk legends to the title. So this is the story of the match. The final uh, 132 for nine. Kabul's one and bulk legends 138 for six. Of course, uh, Chris Gale 56 of 34. What a knock from him and bulk in the end winning by four wickets. So that was really the story of the final. The match summary and uh, bulk legends uh, have done really well being the champions. Uh, let's go down to Charu Sharma for the presentation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final presentation ceremony of the inaugural Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League 2018 powered by Fog. It's a fantastic start. A big thank you to all of you here at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium for ensuring that the final enjoyed terrific atmosphere. Thank you very much. And of course, everybody watching on television around the world, we thank you incredible league around the world throughout the tournament. Now, of course, this is a presentation, a word of commiseration to the team that unfortunately went down today, Kabul Zwanan, and of course, congratulations to bulk legends who did almost nothing wrong throughout the tournament. Now, it's a slightly long presentation, as you can imagine, and let's get on with it. To begin with, a big thank you to those who really mattered, of course, the Afghanistan Cricket Board for putting it all together. Then uh, all the sponsors and partners for their contribution to the Gulbahar APL 2018. Snixer Sports particularly, Fog Scent, Channel 4 89.1, Q Ticketing, Kapilwak Mobile, Al Kabab Al Afghani, Al Zara Hospital Dubai, Sports Connection, Khalij Times and Sharjah Cricket Club and all the team owners. And a special thank of course to the ground staff, the medical team and the security team for once again doing a fantastic job. Thank you all very much. Uh, a big thank you of course to the broadcasters particularly uh, D-Sport in India, we've got uh, Rihanna Television Network in Afghanistan, Willow TV, Yup TV, Free Sport, Flow Sport, Sky TV, Asia Television Network, Ghazi TV, Geo Super, and OSN right here in these parts. A big thank you to all of you for joining us. And now, of course, an introduction to the presentation party. Please do put your hands together for these very special gentlemen. First, to my left, the chairman of the Afghanistan Cricket Board, Mr. Azizullah Fazli. Congratulations. Fantastic. We'll get your speech in a second. And then the CEO of the Afghanistan Cricket Board, Mr. Shafiqullah Stanikzai. Congratulations again. And then, of course, two very special gentlemen. We owe the ground to them. Mr. Walid Bukhater, Vice Chairman, Sharjah Cricket. And Mr. Khalf Bukhater as well. Thank you very much. Fantastic ground. We all loved being here.